This month, many countries around the world will be spreading awareness on multiple sclerosis, or MS, a disease that affects millions of people worldwide. But what exactly is multiple sclerosis? MS primarily affects the central nervous system, which consists of the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerve. Just about everything you do depends on this system functioning properly, from breathing to moving and even watching YouTube videos. And these actions are all facilitated by neurons throughout your body, cells which we've talked about many times in our previous videos. These neurons are able to send signals all throughout the body at incredible speeds, in part because of the fatty coating that surrounds them, something called myelin or the myelin sheath. This myelin insulates the impulses and allows the nerve signals to reach their destination. However, in the case of MS, this is where the issues occur. The immune system is designed to fight off disease from viruses, bacteria, parasites, or other agents, and does so by distinguishing these things from healthy tissue. But in the case of MS, the immune system ends up attacking the myelin in what is classified as an autoimmune disorder. This process of demyelination can lead to a buildup of scar tissue, hence the word sclerosis. The CNS then becomes unable to send and receive signals properly. Messages traveling along the neurons may be slowed down, distorted, or stopped altogether. Because of the varying locations and nature of demyelination, the symptoms of MS are incredibly diverse. They can range from muscle weakness to decreased coordination, fatigue, vision problems, numbness, or even paralysis. Though, an MRI scan of the brain to look for lesions or scarring is integral to diagnosis. For some, the symptoms come as acute episodes, while others experience more chronic and permanent symptoms which worsen over time. At this point, no true cause or cure is known. While potential links to environmental factors, viral infections, and genetics have been found, studies are ongoing and not yet conclusive. And while there has been a lot of work towards not only alleviating some of the symptoms but slowing their progression, sadly, these treatments do not work for all MS sufferers. Ultimately, bringing light to this issue in an effort to support and fund research is an incredibly important step to erasing MS. And though many of us will never truly understand the challenges of living with MS, we can work together to raise awareness. We would be so grateful if you could take a moment and pass this video on to your family and friends and join in the effort to end MS.